If Clifford the Big Red Dog taught us anything, it's that animals can be large. In fact, some of them terrifyingly so. Just take a look at King Kong. That was a chunky boy. These are abnormally large animals that actually exist. Number 20. Belgian Blue This gigantic cow is a breed of beef cattle from Belgium. The Belgian Blue is extremely lean, hyper-sculpted, and has so many muscles they actually call it double muscling. The double muscling phenotype is actually a heritable condition resulting in an increased number of fibers instead of the enlargement of individual muscle fibers. They also possess a gene that suppresses the production of myostatin, which is a protein that inhibits the muscle growth after a certain point. In other words, these massive animals just have an outstanding capacity to convert feed into lean muscle without hitting the gym two hours today like everyone else. The double muscling condition also causes the Belgian Blue's meat to have reduced fat content, which is a very sought-after quality nowadays. But don't let all that muscle scare you. This breed is actually known for its quiet temperament. The weight of an adult bull ranges from 1,100 to 1,250 kilograms for a height at the withers of 1.45 meters to 1.5 meters. It is by no means rare to see individuals of more than 1,300 kilograms. Cows can reach a weight of 850 to 900 kilograms and can exceed 1.40 meters. Meters. So, yeah, these guys are pretty massive. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. This image right here is truly something extraordinary. We've all seen great white sharks before, but nothing quite like this. The photo was taken by a man called Joe Bolton and is definitely one of the largest sharks we've ever seen. What about you? Great white sharks are already pretty big, hence the name, but this one is truly abnormally large. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. The Giant Japanese Spider Crab This massive marine crab has the largest leg span of all known crab species on the planet. The Japanese name for this creature is Takaashigani, which literally translates to Tall Legs Crab. And I mean, that name couldn't be more accurate. Their maximum size is of up to 12 feet across. Their body will grow up to about 15 inches wide, and the animal can weigh up to 44 pounds. Not at all bad for a crab. They also live for a very long time, a hundred years. That's more than most human beings. They are considered a prized delicacy in many regions of Japan, but the harvesting of the crab is forbidden during spring, because that's when they move to shallower waters to reproduce. They get their name because of the similarity of their legs with that of a spider. The resemblance is quite shocking. Just imagine if spiders were this big. Yikes. They have six legs and a pair of culipeds with two small pincers at the end. They're orange in color with white spots along the legs. They're reported to have a very gentle disposition, despite looking like a ferocious creature. Their bumpy carapace blends perfectly into the rocky ocean floor so they can camouflage themselves. Their main predators are octopuses. Number 18. Goliath Bird Eater Meet the king of spiders. Goliath bird eaters can weigh up to six ounces and with a leg span of nearly a foot. This is the single largest arachnid on the entire planet. The main source of food for the Goliath isn't birds, despite their name, but they certainly are big enough to be able to. They do catch birds occasionally, whenever the opportunity arises, but insects, frogs, and rodents make up most of the tarantula's diet. They are native to the Amazon in northern South America. They hunt by pouncing on their prey, and then their inch-long fangs act like hypodermic needles, pumping neurotoxins into the helpless animal. The goliath then drags the dying prey back to its burrows and begins the digestion process. This process is very different than the mammals, as spiders can't digest solid material. They have to liquefy the prey's insides first, and then suck it dry. Uh, anyone fancy a frog smoothie? 
Goliath bird eaters have very bad eyesight. For hunting, they rely instead on modified hair legs that are extremely sensitive to vibration so they can sense movement around them. This technique also works to warn them of dangers such as a hungry kawadi looking for its next yummy snack. They can also rub their legs together, launching a shower of harpoon-shaped hairs tipped with stinging barbs into the air. This is meant to connect with the assailant's eyes, sending it scurrying. Number 17. The World's Largest Dog This is Zeus. He was born on November 22, 2008, and he unfortunately died on September 3, 2014. He was a Great Dane from Otsego, Michigan, and he became famous worldwide for being the tallest dog on the planet. He even held two Guinness World Record titles for it. But just how tall was he? Well, standing on his hind legs, Zeus stretched 7 feet 5 inches tall, and he was 3 feet 8 inches from his foot to his withers. Now that is a massive dog. So tall, he could drink from the kitchen faucet with his four paws still on the floor. Also, when he's sitting down, his head's at the same height as his mom's shoulder. But don't be fooled by Zeus's massive size and ominous appearance. He was actually a very sweet dog with a gentle disposition. He weighed 165 pounds and devoured about 30 pounds of food every two weeks. He was so big, he required a special van for transportation. His owners, Kevin and Denise Dorlag, said the most common question people asked was, is that a dog or a horse, and where's his saddle? He was a local celebrity in Michigan, where he also worked as a therapy dog visiting schools and hospitals. If you were looking for the depiction of a gentle giant, this would be it. Number 16. The African Giant Snail this is the largest terrestrial gastropod. The giant African snail has a light to dark brown shell with beautiful vertical stripes of a darker shade of brown. They live a very long time, usually between five to seven years. But if they have enough food and the weather's in concordance with their needs, they can actually live much longer. Their shell alone can reach up to 7.8 inches in length and 2.7 to 3.9 inches in height. Do you know why snails release mucus as they move? Well, it's actually to reduce friction and avoid damage to their tissue. Cool, huh? Like any other species of snail, this African giant takes refuge from predators by hiding inside their shell. But they also like to hide out in there when the temperatures begin to drop too low at night. Just like you do when you see comfort under your covers on a cold winter night. As their name suggests, they are native to Africa from Mozambique to Kenya and Somalia. But this species has been introduced to many different parts of the world over time, and today it is one of the most invasive species on the planet. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, the African giant snail is one of the most damaging species for agriculture and crops in the country. Number 15. Ocean Sunfish also known as the Mola Mola, it is one of the two heaviest bony fish in the world that we know of. The other one is its cousin, the Mola Alexandrini. Can you guess how big this massive fish really is? Large specimens can reach 14 feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally. Oh, and they can weigh nearly 5,000 pounds. So yeah, they're pretty big. They live in tropical and temperate waters all over the world. One of the particularities about the Mola Mola is that they can be as tall as they are long, giving them a very unique and original appearance. They are generalist predators, which means they eat small fish, fish larvae, and also crustaceans. The female Mola Mola can produce more eggs than any other known vertebrate, up to 300 million at a time. The Mola Mola can become so infested with parasites that they will often invite small fish or even birds to feast on the pesky and annoying critters. They can also breach the surface of the water up to 10 feet in the air and land with a dramatic splash in hopes of shaking the parasites away. Number 14. Jackalopterus Meet the biggest arthropod that ever walked this earth. 
An arthropod is an invertebrate animal having an exoskeleton, a segmented body, and paired jointed appendages. This one terrorized the lakes and rivers of our planet about 400 million years ago. It has been dubbed the Sea Scorpion. Researchers believe that it was a very skilled predator. It would likely lie in wait until another animal went in front of it, and then it would lurch forward to capture its prey. It would tear the prey to shreds and then eat the little pieces. It was most likely an apex predator in many areas, and considering the sheer size of animals at that time, some serious spunk was needed to become the killer and not the killed. Let's just be happy that this monster no longer exists. One claw was found in Germany, and the jackalopterus that it belonged to is thought to have been nearly 12 feet long. Imagine having these things living in our modern day rivers and lakes. In overall appearance, the jackalopterus is similar to other arthropods, possessing a large, expanded telson, which is the hindmost segment of the body, and enlarged pincers and forelimbs. Number 13. Southern Elephant Seal This is the largest extant marine mammal that's not a cetacean, meaning it's not a whale. It gets its name from its staggering massive size. A 9,000 pound giant elephant seal was recently found in the Falkland Islands. They're quite lazy and awkward on land. They have difficulty moving their bobbly bodies. Thankfully, they have immensely strong flippers to hold their weight. But surprisingly, they are excellent swimmers. They have a graceful agility that is mesmerizing to watch. Despite looking absolutely monstrous, they're actually very gentle and passive by nature. They have no issue sharing the rocky island shores with penguins and other arctic birds. Males can reach up to 20 feet in length. A growing elephant seal pup will put on 9 pounds of weight per day. Yeah, I don't think they'd be interested in any kind of diet. They mostly eat fish and squid, which they catch when they go on long dives over 3,000 feet into the ocean. Males have a very deep and loud growl that'll make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. They use it to impose leadership. The largest male with the loudest growl is the leader of the pack. Number 12. Giant Pacific Octopus the giant Pacific octopus is the largest octopus species in the world, and as its name suggests, it inhabits the northern Pacific Ocean off the United States up to Alaska and around Japan. On average, these beasts can weigh 110 pounds and measure 16 feet across when fully grown, although the largest giant Pacific octopus on record was weighed a whopping 600 pounds and measured 30 feet across in length. As you may already know, octopuses are extremely intelligent animals. They can open jars, resolve puzzles, and perfectly mimic other animals, and the giant Pacific octopus is no exception. Aside from being so big, this octopus is easily recognizable by its typical reddish-pink color. Do you know how octopuses can change color? They actually have thousands of very special pigment cells called chromatophores just below the surface of their skin. Each of these cells has a tiny sac filled with either a red, orange, brown, yellow, or black pigment. By stretching or squeezing these sacs, they can rapidly change the brightness of each of these colors, and in that way can easily blend in with their rocky or or coral-laden surroundings. And did you know that octopuses are, in fact, mollusks? They have a shell. It's just that it's located in the head, so you can't really see it. Number 11. Gigantopithecus. The Gigantopithecus is an extinct genus of ape from the early to middle Pleistocene approximately 1.25 to 0.7 million years ago. To determine the exact size of the Gigantopithecus is very difficult, because they only ever found tooth and jaw elements. But measurements of the fossil teeth allowed paleontologists to estimate the primate's height and weight at about 9.8 feet and 441 to 661 pounds, which means the Gigantopithecus was the largest hominid yet known. In other words, this is our largest distant cousin. They lived in southern China, and there's speculation that they also maybe lived in Thailand, Vietnam, and Indonesia. Despite its giant size, this primate was an herbivore. That's right, the largest primate ever was a vegetarian. 
and apparently their favorite food was fruit. The Gigantopithecus failed to adapt to the grass, roots, and leaves that became the dominant food sources in its new environment, which triggered its extinction. Had it been less gigantic, it could have probably survived the environmental changes, but their massive bodies needed a staggering daily amount of fruit. Paleontologists believe they looked very similar to modern-day orangutans, with a ginger coat and dark skin only much, much bigger. Number 10. Colossal Squid The scientific name of this species is Mesonicotuthis hamiltoni, but it's also called the Antarctic Squid or the Giant Cranch Squid. It is believed to be the largest squid species in terms of mass in the entire world. This massive creature can reach a mass of over 1,000 pounds, although the largest specimens may perhaps weigh as much as 1,300 or 1,500 pounds. I say perhaps because the bigger ones have never been seen. They are only known from beaks found in sperm whale stomachs. This is why they're believed to be the largest invertebrate in the world. But this marine monster also holds the record for the largest eyes of any animal, larger even than those of the great whales. They live in the deep sea surrounding Antarctica, and their most significant predator is, you guessed it, the sperm whale. But the squid is not an easy prey to hunt. The most southern sperm whales are covered with scars from their hooks. Combining their body and tentacle lengths, the colossal squid can easily reach up to 46 feet. The females are larger than the males. They primarily eat fish, small and large, and occasionally other squids. Number 9. The world's largest rabbit. Meet Darius, the single largest bunny rabbit in the world. This giant cutie measures 4 feet 4 inches long and weighs in at a whopping 3.5 stone, which earned him the title of the official biggest rabbit in the world. Darius' owner is Annette Edwards, a 63-year-old lady from Bromsgrove, England. And she says that Darius' children are very promising, especially Jeff, who she expects will dwarf his father any day now. Annette only has two giant bunnies at her property, and apparently it costs her 5,000 pounds a year just to feed them. Now, these are very hungry bunnies indeed. They go through 2,000 carrots and 700 apples between them. And then there's the specialized rabbit food and a bale of hay a week. But Annette says they're worth every penny as she sits down on her couch cuddling with her furry pets. As we said before, these two are father and son. Apparently, Jeff really takes after his dad as they are both really chilled out. Most rabbits like lots of attention and are excellent with children, and these two are no exception. The species is called Continental Giant Rabbit, and rightfully so. Number 8. Medusa, the biggest snake. This is the world record holder for the largest snake on Earth, and her name is Medusa. She's a reticulated python, and she has two residences, the Kansas City Edge of Hell and the Beast Haunted Houses. Her owner treats her very well. She gets to swim in her pool every day, and they treat her to fancy feasts all the time. Her favorites are a full deer or a goat. In the few days after a feast, Medusa will be in a sort of a meat coma, as snakes take a few days to digest their food. Not surprising if she eats an entire animal in one bite. She's so big that she requires 20 strong handlers to safely carry her from place to place. Medusa measures a whopping 25 feet 2 inches, and she weighs in at around 350 pounds. But she puts on a good 150 pounds whenever she eats, give or take. Her length is kept under wraps as she prefers curling up and having Larry Edgar, who is her handler, scratch her scales whenever she's shedding. Her birthday is the 13th of October, and they do a very big party in her honor. Whenever she's happy and comfy, she gives a love hiss. She likes being a working girl by any means, but in order to keep her relaxed and healthy, her handlers give her a 10-month vacation every year. Number 7. Chinese Giant Salamander 
The Chinese giant salamander is not only one of the largest salamanders, but also one of the largest amphibians in the world. It is an aquatic animal that lives in the Yangtze River Basin of central China. This species is considered critically endangered due to habitat loss, pollution, and overcollection from people because it's considered a delicacy in the traditional Chinese cuisine. It's actually been listed as one of the top 10 focal species in 2008 by the Evolutionary Distinct and Globally Endangered Project. These animals are quite amazing. They're actually considered to be a living fossil for being part of the Cryptobranchidae family, which dates back 170 million years. They can live over 70 years, and they possess the incredible power of regeneration. Yeah, you heard that right. They are able to regrow skin and bone if necessary. The average adult salamander weighs from 55 to 66 pounds and is 3.8 feet in length. But larger specimens do exist. They can reach up to 130 pounds pounds in weight and 5.9 feet in length. They mainly feed on insects, freshwater crabs, and fish, but cannibalism in this species is very frequent. Number 6. Megalodon the Megalodon is the king of the sharks. It was the largest shark to ever prowl the oceans and one of the largest fish on a record. Imagine if we had today in the sea 50 foot long sharks. Being a fisherman would be a very different job. The Megalodon was three times bigger than the biggest great white shark ever recorded. Their mouths were filled with 18 inch long razor sharp teeth. Actually, its name literally means giant tooth. They had 276 large teeth, and they had one of the strongest bite forces of any animal to have ever lived on the Earth. They lived over 20 million years ago, and they went extinct 3.6 million years ago. That means they ruled and terrorized the oceans for a very long time. They mainly fed on whales and also large fish. Needless to say, at that immense size, they needed to eat a lot of food. Imagine how powerful and huge a predator would have to be to prey on the humpback whale. The megalodon's jaw alone is estimated to have been between 9 to 11 feet wide. That's big enough to have easily swallowed two adult people side by side in one bite. This monster is one of the most powerful predators to have ever existed on this planet. Number 5. Goliath Frog this is the largest frog in the entire world. It can grow up to 13 inches long and weighs in at over 7 pounds. To put things into perspective, the Goliath frog is as big as a house cat. Impressive, huh? But its first days on this earth are not gigantic at all. In fact, the Goliath tadpole is the exact same size as the tadpole of an average frog, except this one simply keeps growing. Their eyes can be nearly one inch in diameter, which means their eyes alone are much larger than some other species of frog's entire body. The Goliath's appearance is just like that of any other ordinary frog, only a whole lot bigger. And did you know that this species of frog has been around longer than humans? But ironically, we still have a lot to learn from them. The Goliath frog has a relatively small habitat range in Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Sadly, its numbers are dwindling due to habitat loss and its collection for food and the illegal pet trade. Goliath frogs mainly feed on spiders, worms, and insects such as dragonflies and locusts. But they are quite skilled hunters, and due to their staggering size, they're also excellent at catching fish and other amphibians. They can even kill snakes and small mammals. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodile not many people know this, but there's a species of crocodile that lives in the ocean. Marine crocodiles mainly live in warm waters, and they are the largest species of crocs in the world. The largest saltwater crocodile ever caught and placed in captivity was called Lo Long. He was 20 feet 3 inches long and weighed 2,370 pounds. He was found in the Philippines, and he passed away in 2013. These beasts are incredibly strong, so much so 
they can actually bite through steel. They're not particularly interested in human flesh, but like any other species of croc, they are extremely territorial. They mainly eat fish, crustaceans, and sometimes buffaloes that wander too close to the water. The saltwater crocodile is a hyper carnivorous apex predator, which means it doesn't have natural predators in its natural habitat. It also means that it'll eat pretty much everything and anything you put in front of them that has a pulse. They start by ambushing their prey, and then they drown it or swallow it whole. They are fierce. They are also known for being aggressive towards people if they feel threatened, and you really do not want to piss off one of these. That's why they are considered a major danger for people that share a habitat with them. Number 3. Hercules a liger is the hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger, and Hercules is the largest liger in the world. Not only that, he also holds the Guinness World Record for the world's biggest cat. No wonder they named it Hercules. He's 10 feet long and weighs in at an impressive 921 pounds. Hercules is as big as an adult horse. He's so insanely big, it will be very difficult for him to survive in the wild. Imagine trying to hunt prey without being able to hide anywhere. But why is he so large? Well, for male lions, size is crucially important. The bigger, the better. So male lions carry the genetic information that allows their cubs to keep growing. On the other hand, female lions carry the genetic information to control that growth so it doesn't get out of control. Female tigers, on the other hand, don't carry the same genetic information that lionesses do. So the mix of a lion's and a tiger's genetics results in a cub that just won't stop growing. Thankfully, ligers are only possible in captivity, since tigers and lions don't share a natural habitat in the real world. Number 2. The Record-Breaking Stingray So there's no other way to put this. Scientists caught a seriously big fish. So big, in fact, that it might just be the largest freshwater fish on record. This gigantic stingray was captured in Thailand's Mekong River. And when I say gigantic, I mean hands down monstrous. To put things into perspective, it was literally the size of a car. It was 7.9 feet across and a whopping 14 feet long, to be precise. The colossal animal weighed around 800 pounds and had to be released in about 65 feet of water in order for it to be able to move. This stingray has set the new world record. It is now officially the biggest of its kind. But the surprise didn't end there. After they performed an ultrasound of the stingray, they discovered that she was pregnant with two fetal rays. So they had to improvise an underwater nursery to welcome the two newborns. This is great news, as the reason the scientists caught this massive fish in the first place is because giant stingrays are listed as a critically endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. So with the two baby rays, they hope to be able to help the species grow in numbers. Number 1. Bill Meet the world's largest pig. They call him Big Bill, and he holds the world record for heaviest pig. He tipped the scales at 2,552 pounds in 1933, and he's still the undisputed champion today. Big Bill was a Poland-China hog born in March of 1930 when a man paid $3.65 for the little hog after the mother had carelessly rolled over, killing all the piglets except Bill. By the spring of 1932, Bill had gone from weighing 400 pounds in the fall to the weight of 1,450 pounds, measuring 100 inches from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, standing 47 inches tall and measuring 13 inches from ankle to hoof. A hog of that staggering size created a stir in the community, and soon people from far away started flocking to the Chappelle farm where he lived to take a look at him. After Big Bill had reached the weight of 2,500 pounds, Thousands of people were paying 10 cents each to see the magnificent pig. At this point, he was so obese, his belly was dragging on the ground when he walked, but he was still growing. They had to enlarge his pen several times to accommodate his growing size. He was taken to universities and schools to be exhibited, but nobody was ever able to explain the unusual growth of Big Bill. I don't know about you, but I had no idea such huge animals could exist. If you had to choose an animal and make it gigantic, which one would you choose? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.